case of tuberculosis, and it has been confirmed at a Brookline daycare. Dozens of families are impacted. New Center 5's Jorge Quiroga live in Brookline tonight. Jorge? Well, Heather, the Department of Public Health is not saying if the infected patient is a child or an adult, but this being a daycare with young kids eight months to five years old in close contact, you can understand the concern. One case of tuberculosis identified at the Tiny World Child Care in Brookline. Katie Quizell, a mom rushing to a meeting with DPH officials. It's a very rare uh, disease in the United States, um, so that's what makes it concerning. Um, but it's also very difficult to transmit, so I think the risk of any of the children here, or even my daughter, actually having contracted it is very, very low. In a statement, DPH says it is monitoring the situation and working closely with officials and the tiny world child care community, adding tuberculosis is preventable and treatable and transmission of TB in these cases is very uncommon. They're handling everything exactly as they should and I'm very happy. Fazel, who is also a public health care professor, is assured the risk of infection is very low. As soon as they had notice of it, they informed parents. Um, we don't know any information about the person who had the active infection, um, but our understanding is that that person's not at the center. So once the, the source is removed, there's no longer any danger. A DPH official has been meeting with parents here for about an hour. No word if any of the children here will have to be tested. Again, while rare in the U.S., DPH says if caught early, TB is very treatable. Live in Brookline, Jorge Quiroga, WCVB, New Center 5.